Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Eric Ten Hag confirms Lisandro Martinez could return versus Brentford. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Lisandro Martinez could return from any injury during tomorrow's Premier League clash against Brentford on the road. The Argentine has not played for the Red Devils since picking up any injury and the 3-0 win over West Ham United at Old Trafford. He suffered the blow after a poor challenge from Vladimir Kufal. It was initially predicted that he could be sidelined for two months, but it seems the 45 million euros rated star is ahead of his schedule in his recovery. Speaking in today's presser, Ten Hag said, Yes, there is a chance Martinez plays versus Brantford. We have missed him. He brings composure and calmness to the team. At the same time, a winning attitude, and he can press this very clearly. He can transfer that into the team, and that contributes a lot to our levels. Casimero, Johnny Evans, and Harry Maguire are among those who have been nursing injuries this month. When asked about them, Ten Hag said that a final decision will be made after today's training session. Meanwhile, Ten Hag provided further good news by saying that Luke Shaw is expected to return from his muscular problem before the end of the current campaign. Ahmad won't play any part against the Bees tomorrow. He is suspended for the West London trip after picking up a second yellow card for his goal-scoring celebrations against Liverpool. The Red Devils are currently 9 points behind Aston Villa in the race for the fourth spot with a game in hand. They need to build a winning run to boost their Champions League hopes. Eric Ten Hag sends out a warning to Man United starlet Kobe Maino. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has loaded Kobe Maino after he was named man of the match on his full England debut. Maino put in an impressive performance in a Tuesday's 2-2 draw against Belgium at Wembley. The 18-year-old has impressed everyone with his fine displays. He could earn a spot in the squad for Euro 2024 if he continues his fine run. Ten Hag is confident the success will not go to his head. He told the reporters ahead of their Premier League clash with Brantford via ManUnited.com the following. So far... He handles it very well, and if he crosses the line, then me as a manager and us as coaches, we will interfere. So far, it's not necessary because he enjoys football, he wants to win, and he wants to give his best every day because he wants to improve. He just wants to have fun on the pitch, and for him, it's fun to play dominant, to dictate the game and to win the game. I thought it was very good. Minus performance for England, but we are not surprised. We have seen what he is capable of and that he can very quickly adapt to high levels. It looks very natural and we are very, very happy for him. And of course, we are a little bit proud. I will say very proud. It's hard to believe that Maino made his Premier League bow just four months back. Since then, he has featured and impressed in almost every game for Man United. England head coach Gareth Southgate could not resist calling him directly in the senior squad. His stocks have risen to new heights after starring against Belgium. However, his newfound fame could get into the heads of youngsters and minor should be wary of it. Ten Hag has shown in his brief stay at Old Trafford that he demands discipline from his players. Hopefully, he and his staff can keep the starlet's feet on the ground because he has a bright future ahead of him. Man United legend Brian Robson urges the club to keep Eric Ten Hag as he blasts Gareth Southgate lengths. Manchester United legend Brian Robson has urged his former club to keep faith with Eric Ten Hag rather than make a change in the dugout. It has been suggested that Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Inouyes could sack Ten Hag at the end of the campaign and bring someone else to kickstart the new era on a clean slate. There is uncertainty over the Dutchman's future at Old Trafford and his claim to remain in Soto has not been helped by the fact that United continue to be linked with his potential successors. 
the likes of Gareth Southgate, Roberto De Zerbi, Gary O'Neill, Julian Nagelsmann, Graham Potter and Zinedine Zidane are all managers that have been mentioned to be in the running for the United hot seat. Ten Hag will almost certainly need to mastermind a very strong finish to the season if he is to have any hope of convincing Ratcliffe he is the right man for the job. United great Brian Robson spoke on the No Tippy Tappy Football podcast and gave his verdict on Ten Hag and whether the 53-year-old coach should be afforded another chance under the new NIS regime. Robson said the following, For me, I've got to say that because we've changed our manager so many times since Sir Alex, it's not my decision, but I wouldn't mind seeing Ten Hag there next season. If you get on with the people who run the club, not particularly the owners, but the people who actually run the club as a manager, it's really important that you get on with them and work together really well if you are going to be successful. Man United handed fresh blow in pursuit of Juventus star Gleison Bremer. Manchester United have been handed a fresh blow in the pursuit of Juventus star Gleison Bremer ahead of the summer transfer window. The Red Devils are expected to sign a new centre-back ahead of next season and Bremer has been identified as the top target as per Italian outlets. Corriere dello Sport claimed yesterday that Bremer is moving closer to joining United with the club ready to pay his current release clause of 61 million euros. However, there has been a fresh twist to the story with Calcio Mercato reporting that his buyout clause is between 65 and 70 million euros but does not become active until 2025. If a Bremer were to leave them in the summer of 2025, the Bianconeri can weigh in 20 million euros on the balance sheet and will be guaranteed a capital gain of 40 million euros. United have been linked with multiple central defenders in the last few months. Italian outlet have continued to highlight that Bremer is the number one priority. It appears a deal won't be straightforward for the club. With no release clause present this summer, the hierarchy would need to negotiate directly with the Bianconeri. Hence, United may need to pay a much higher fee to convince them. We won't be surprised if the Torino Giants hold out for 80 million euros to part ways with the Brazilian star. In our view, the money could be better spent on a younger centre-back. Man United interested in surprise deal for Real Madrid Launi Joselu. Manchester United are interested in a surprise deal for Joselu, who is currently on loan at Real Madrid from Espanyol, according to journalist Jorge Picon. The Red Devils currently have Rasmus Hoyland as the undisputed striker, but they will need a quality backup next season with Anthony Martial due to leave. Martial has had another injury-plagued campaign at the club and he is widely expected to make way when his contract expires at the end of June. Picon now reports that United sent two officials from their management to Spain a few weeks ago where they were in contact with several clubs and agents. The journalist mentions that the Red Devils showed an interest in signing Joselu. They inquired over his current situation, starting with the price for a transfer. The hierarchy believe Joselu would be a quality backup for Hoyland next term with his good physique, hold-up play and ability to find the back of the net. Meanwhile, the Spaniard could discover United's plans. He is said to be keen on continuing with Madrid and has his sights on spending another year with them. Hoselu made a surprise loan move to Los Blancos last summer. He has fired well with 13 goals and 3 assists from 38 appearances in all competitions. The 34-year-old has managed a goal contribution in every 100 minutes for Madrid, but we believe it would be a wrong step to pursue his signature. United need to look into the long term with their transfer strategy. The focus should be on signing a young center forward who can compete with Hoyland. Someone like Benjamin Sesko would be our preferred choice. The Slovenian has a release clause of 50 million euros and it would be money well spent given his potential. United should avoid the prospect of signing another striker who is almost past his prime. 
Pocelo Barley impressed. During his time at Stoke City and Newcastle United, he failed to score more than four goals in a league campaign. In our opinion, it would be a big mistake from the board if they were to bring him back to England. Man United eye audacious move for Joshua Kimmich as potential Casimiro replacement. Manchester United are planning an audacious summer swoop for Bayern Munich defensive midfielder Joshua Kimmich. According to Sport, the Germany international has emerged as a priority target for the Red Devils amid plans to overhaul the squad at the end of the season. Kimmich is seen as a potential successor to Casimiro, who has been heavily linked with a move away from Old Trafford when the summer transfer window opens. United parted ways with £60 million to lure the former Real Madrid midfield Lunchpin to the Theatre of Dreams in a move that raised several eyebrows. Casimiro lived up to expectations in his debut campaign, helping Eric Ten Hag's side and United six-year wait for silverware, but his performances have taken a sharp decline this term. His struggles could be attributed to injury problems, having spent three months on the sidelines with a knock. He recently picked up another hamstring issue, although he managed to avoid another long-term setback. Despite his struggles, Casimiro has featured 21 times across all competitions, returning five goals and two assists. However, the 32-year-old is a shadow of his former self, while he remains a strong presence in midfield, his win rate in ground battles has dipped to 49% and he has been dribbled past at least twice per match. The Brazilian is one of the big names on United's shopping block and the club hope to recoup some of the funds they paid for him in 2022. United would also be more than happy to get his enormous salary of their wage bill and the Saudi Pro League has been touted as a potential landing spot for the Brazilian. If United part ways with Casimiro, they could launch an ambitious move for Kimmich, who will enter the final 12 months of his Bayern contract at the start of next season. United could exploit Kimmich's contract situation to make a move, but they will need to spend at least 50 million euros to secure his signature. Journalist David Ornstein tips Man United to sign £100 million rated striker. According to the Athletics, David Ornstein, Man United could sign one of Europe's top attackers this summer. The reliable journalist is respected by the fans who value his opinion and insight on the game. In a Q&A on Thursday, the football journalist for the Athletic had some encouraging news for the Man United fans. Ornstein tipped the summer transfer of a Brantford striker Ivan Tony to Old Trafford. Regarding where he thinks Brantford's number 17 will wind up this summer, the journalist answered, This is a purely an opinion and not information, but I do wonder about Man United. They have long been looking to bolster their front line. Ten Hag wanted Kane and Hoyland was always seen as a development signing, one for the future. Hoyland has done really well, but it's a huge responsibility on the shoulders and strain on the body of a relatively inexperienced 21-year-old, with Marcel expected to leave, and uncertainty around the future of others, perhaps there is scope to go for a Tony if they decide to. It may, of course, come down to whether they are prepared to pay what Brantford want. The England international reportedly has a price tag of £100 million, as Arsenal and Chelsea are also among his admirers. A number of Premier League clubs are looking to sign a new striker in the summer, and they also are monitoring the Brentford attacker. The 28-year-old's 20 Premier League goals from the previous season were only surpassed by Erling Haaland and Harry Kane. Therefore, he can definitely fetch a high transfer fee. In the summer, Man United, Chelsea and Arsenal will all be trying to bolster their squad. The addition of Ivan Toni would increase the level of competitiveness among the squad while also relieving some of the load of existing talent. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel.
Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.